Tennessee arrested a focused unit, and they're working on a good winning streak. They had the week off last week. This is really a team, Charles, that should be in top four. I would agree absolutely with that. What coaches worry about, what organizations worry about, though, is overconfidence. They've been playing so well, and now they've got that extra time off. And we've seen teams come back off the open week and come out flat. So what a lot of good coaches do is they kind of game plan for that with their teams on defense and make blitz more in the beginning to get them going. On offense, they may go more up tempo. Anything to get them out of that lethargy right at the beginning. He finds Robinson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Partner as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. On first and ten, Madden eluding the pressure right. Dancing away at the 30, and shutting him off, now open field. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. <laughs> Throwing on first down, Madden. Touchdown, Jaguars! Philip Dorsett with his 16th touchdown of the year. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And they will begin with, should we call it, far from ideal starting field position, their own two-yard line. So what's your definition of ideal? The one-yard line on the other side of the field. Yes, exactly right. So yes, your definition is apropos in this case. So not quite out of danger just yet. Still backed up a bit, but only need a few inches here on second down. They'll run here with Robinson. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. 44 yards rushing for him now, and he's only carried the ball four times. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Looking to throw. Madden sets up the screen to Robinson. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Finding some room at midfield. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Well, that was man coverage. So once he decides to run with the football, there's no one to account for him, and he turns it into a nice gain. Now a play fake here on first down. Flushed out right. Complete to Dorsett. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A big play that time through the air. 35 yards. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. It's a gain of seven on the ground. Second down coming up. They'll run it now with Robinson. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. James Robinson. So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. They'll run on first down. It's Robinson, and they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. It was Jamal Adams up from his safety spot to make the play behind the line. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a fight for it, and this is caught. Do what, what we do, do what we do. Touchdown, Jaguar. Philip Dorsett 
83 yards. And the Jaguars are able to add on to their first half lead. As he was shuffling right out of the pocket, you could just tell he was going to take a shot downfield. He had his eyes down there the whole... Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And with good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket, no reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. And he's up across midfield and down into Seattle territory. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout. As the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Looking to throw on second down. Madden. That'll be caught right side. Chenault with it. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. He certainly had a good game throwing the ball so far, but I think he was trying to take that from good to... Trying to get one downfield. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Flush to his right. Space to run past the 20. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Steps away to his left. That is caught at the seven-yard line. Touchdown! Philip Dorsett as the first half is winding down. And the Jags will extend their lead here just before halftime. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And last time out, another touchdown. And I think there may be some empty seats around here by the time the fourth quarter comes around. Yeah, I have to agree with you because this was just about decided. But you know who benefits from all those empty seats? Ooh. You and me trying to get to the airport. That's the road to be fairly that, clear that by the time positive. we have to leave the booth. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. So this game, Charles, you know, we talk about potential unbeaten seasons a lot. It feels like every year at some point in the season we talk about that. But this is one of those games where if you're unbeaten, you got to be careful. You can't take this one too lightly. You're exactly right about that. And by rights, this should be a cakewalk. Almost a week off. Let the starters run up the score in the first half. Backups get to play in the second. But you and I both know that funny things sometimes happen when you think this way. So it's incumbent upon the starters to really play well to make it work for this team. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 70 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. All right, I got to ask you, with these RPOs, essentially the quarterback has three options, right? So what's different from that versus the triple option that we see the service academies run at the college level? As a general rule, the triple option at the college level, most things are called outside of the quarterback faking it to the runner and then keeping it himself and maybe having a trail back. What I mean is, in the NFL, that option to throw the football all oh, comes about organically. It's a touchdown, Jaguars. Philip Dorsett, 51 yards. And the ja Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Still well in control of this ball game, despite giving up that touchdown a moment ago. On first down, it's Robinson. Room here to run. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A big pick up there on the run. Outside handoff to the right side. If you're a running back, you love getting the ball early, so you have vision to see what's happening in front of you. Right tackle likes that call. Big play for him. But don't forget about the guys you always tell me on the backside sealing off. When they talk about cutoff blocks, making sure no one can leak from the backside that can run a play down. Yeah, nobody leaked. Big play. A big pick up there.